Welcome back to an Ice Cream 4 video. This is a very special video. Last time we watched the teasers, we got a lot of information, a lot of new things that came to us. And I thought of the perfect idea. Today we are creating the factory in Ice Cream 4. We're creating the map for the factory in Ice Cream 4. And I actually cut all the images out. Everything is ready. We're just going to do it together. So let's get into it. We got Boris. Okay, he's the start. He is the background of our map right now. So I cut out Ice Cream 1, Ice Cream 2, and Ice Cream 3. And they were basically the same map. Okay, they just changed the areas around a bit. So I'm not sure how the factory is going to be this time. That's the problem. I'm worried about that. Because it's a factory. It's not a complete world map, right? So I changed it a bit. Okay, I made it gray because it's a factory. It's probably gray, right? And I have all the icons. We're already halfway there, okay? We're even going to name them because I actually have the Caparence Team font. I found it, okay? I'm going to tell you what it is if you actually want to do this. But we have five places, okay? These are most probably confirmed places, okay? Maybe one is not confirmed because it was a concept art in a different video. And it wasn't directly taken from gameplay. And it is the reception map. Okay, but most probably it's right. I'm guessing it's going to be right. Like 70% I'm right that this is an actual other place. The thing is that worries me. It doesn't really worry me. There's probably more, but Ice Cream 1 had five places. Ice Cream 2 had five places. Ice Cream 3 had six places. And we have five icons so far. So there might be an extra place. Okay, it's a factory. They could have so many different rooms, right? So we're going to start by naming them. Okay. I don't have a background. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to put a background, but this is the font that is used. And it is called DK Prince Frog. And I am like 99% sure this is the right font. Okay. It looks exactly the same as this. Like if I take the font and put it side by side, it's, it's literally that. That's it. I'm going to write circus. Okay. Just, just to be 100% sure. It's a bit bigger right now. But it's, it's the same font. <laughs> it's the exact same font. I'm right. Yay. I actually did something right. Okay. We're not doing circus, of course. So this is most probably the reception. It really looks like a reception to me. So I'm going to call the re reception area. We can actually reduce the size just a bit. Just like that. I, I got the sizes right. They are exactly the same as the other maps. So we're right on that. And then we're going to call this one the garage. Because it is the garage. Not not that. <laughs> That's the garage. And then the next one is going to be the storage. Okay, I'm just going to call it storage. It might be like a warehouse or storage room or something like that, but it's probably that. And the next one is office or offices. I'm going to put office. Let's call the office. And then the last one we have is the souvenir room. Okay, it might be museum, maybe. But I think this is the souvenir how do you spell souvenir? I think that's how you spell it. That is not how you spell it. That's how you spell it. Okay. And it looks like that. Th this is what it has to be. Okay. It's either souvenir or museum, depending on what other stuff is actually in the place. Because what we found out, the souvenir room, actually, I need to check it. So this is the room. But is it the right room? I think this is actually different. This might not be the souvenir room. This might be like the museum. OK, because you have like old Rod characters and different things that he made before. So this might be the museum. And this is the right icon, the one with Joseph Sullivan's bike in it. This is a souvenir room. That means there is an extra room. And I was wrong. OK, because it, it looks completely different from that room with the icon of the bike. So this is actually another one. So I created the icon. OK, I cut out a piece of the souvenir room. So this is the souvenir room. Let's move this up. OK, we're going to do this. I believe this is correct because it's not the same as that. OK, it's not the same. This is a video. This is what what's happening now. We are recreating the map and things are changing. We're going to call this the museum because it's most probably the museum or like historical room or history room or something. But I think that's it. I want to separate these a bit, though. So we're going to connect each of these. Now they are all connected. So if I move this around, the text is with it. I'm just going to make a bit of space everywhere. Okay, souvenir can move somewhere over there. 
Office is fine. I think everything is good, right? So we have six locations so far. I feel like I'm right about the whole souvenir room is different from the museum room. Souvenir room might be called a merchandise room, but if you look up a souvenir room online or a souvenir shop, okay, you're gonna get stuff like this. This is what it looks like. It looks like Rod is trying to sell stuff at his factory, okay? So I believe I'm right there. And in the souvenir room that we're gonna call it now, it is different because you can see there's like magazines on the sides. There's different things that someone would want to buy if they visited the factory because he's got to make money. How does he make money? <laughs> what does he make at the factory that isn't the secret ingredient meant to uh, make kids fat and then capture them? In the office, we have the supervisor mini rod, the one with the safety hat. In the museum, we have the janitor mini rod. In the office, we also have Boris, the big rod. He's there. He's right in front of a room called the control room. I'm not sure if that's a different part of the map, but I don't really think so. It's probably just connected to the office, and that's like the final area that you have to go to, apart from the pink room that Rod is hiding in. Rod is in the garage. He could be moving around through each room, and they could do it, just like Ice Cream 2, where you have three chickens and you have... Uh, Sister Madeline to deal with at the same time. I'm hoping they're separated a bit because <laughs> Evil Nun 2 is really hard because you have to deal with four enemies at the same time. And I think the janitor is also in the storage room. That is the one with the lockers that you saw and then you turn around in the teaser and the janitor mini rod is right there. For the souvenir room, we're not really sure exactly because all we have is a picture on Google Play when you pre-register for Ice Cream 4, there's an image of that puzzle that you have to solve as well as all the merchandise and souvenirs around you. Reception was in the concept art video that they posted. I'm not sure what's going to happen there, okay, if that is actually an area, but they posted it. it. has the same artwork as all of the others, so I'm assuming it's a map icon. And I think that's it. So this is like all the information we know, and we recreated the map. I know I don't have the background, though. I added the screenshot. It looks really bad right now, okay? <laughs> I'm probably not going to use this. Let me put like a gray backdrop on it or something like it looked like before and then reduce this stuff to make it visibly appealing a bit. Okay, and then we can actually move the icons around a bit again. Okay, so the reception is clearly going to be over here because that's where the main door is. Of course, the actual game is going to look way better. Garage is over here because that is a garage. And then we're going to have to put just the souvenir room and the other places, random spaces. So we'll put like the office over here and then souvenirs where souvenir goes. Souvenir is like somewhere up there. It looks so ugly now, though. I liked my last map <laughs> better. There's just not enough space to put everything. But maybe the museum is over there and the storage is somewhere like over there. That looks like an ugly map now. Okay, I'm sorry I destroyed it. Let's remove everything again. It looks way better like this, okay? They're gonna have artwork, basic artwork that will look something like these old things that they did before. So it's gonna most probably look way better than my <laughs> thing. But I think I got the icons right. I think I have all the map locations down. I don't think they're gonna add more places because it would clutter the map anyway unless they made the icons really small and changed how they do stuff normally, but I really doubt it. So this would be the final map. Are you excited for Ice Cream 4? I'm excited. As you can see, I'm making fake maps for a game that's not out, but it is coming out very soon. We have four days left. Get hyped for Ice Cream 4. I'm gonna be making videos on release date. Gonna finish it as soon as possible. And uh, we're gonna see what we're gonna do after that. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't think there's another teaser since there's four days until the game releases, but I was supposed to finish Ice Cream 2 and 3, and I didn't get to that yet, and I don't think I'm, I'm going to be able to. I might. Let's see how things go. Anyways, this was fun doing. I'm going to have to end this here. I hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a like. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Reflect!